영어에 영도 모르면 일로 와. 여러분, there's a pretty big gap between I am and I h. But you know what? There's an even bigger gap between I h and A l. Now, in my honest opinion, there's a huge misunderstanding of what A l truly is. I'm gonna speak mostly in English to explain this. So if you need some assistance, please turn on the subtitles. And if this explanation does not interest you, please go down below in the comment section where I posted the timestamps. Ja, what you have to know about the OPEC test is that it's not really just an English test. It's actually a communication test. Now, you might ask me, well, what is the difference? There's a huge difference. An English test focuses on the vocabulary that you use and how you use those words within a certain grammatical structure. Now, on the other hand, a communication test really focuses on the way you deliver a message. Basically, whatever you have in your head, how do you communicate that? How do you deliver that message clearly? And whatever words words that you use and how good or bad your grammar is, are you easy to understand? As a listener, can I fully understand what you're trying to say? That is a communication test. And what I love about the OPEC test is that it really focuses on more about your communication than just your English skills only. So I think a very great example of just an English test is the TOEIC speaking test. On that test, they don't care about how natural you sound. They only focus on absolute perfect grammar. And in my honest opinion, no native speaker can do this. There is no one who is absolutely perfect in grammar when they are speaking. 그러니까 사람들이 많이 영화를 볼때 엄청 오해하는 것 같아요. 영화, 영어는 사실 perfect grammar입니다. They are using a script. In real life, they can never talk like that. 그 자체를 솔직히 알면은 분명히 AR을 더딸수 있는 찬스가 있습니다. If you have a full understanding of this, then you will realize that my focus should be not how I can speak speak perfectly, but rather how I can deliver my message easily and effectively. No matter how many mistakes I make, can the listener fully understand what's in my mind? That is what OPIC is, and that is what I want to show you in this video. My true goal is to help you get your OPIC mark and improve your overall English all at the same time. So let us now improve our communication ability. What new electronic gadgets or equipment are people who like music interested in these days what are they talking about what new products excite them and why let me see electronic gadget well actually i think people usually use their own smartphones to listen to the music in these days uh, you know uh, it's just because of the convenience i mean it's really, really easy to use their own smartphones to listen to the music. For instance, if you really want to listen to trendy hip hop or pop songs, you can use your own smartphones um, without any other devices. You don't need to bring any other devices. And um, also you can use applications like Melon or YouTube. Uh, by using these kinds of applications, you can easily find any information about the song or the song itself. So, uh, what am I trying to say anyway? The bottom line is, uh, these days, people usually use their own smartphones to listen to the music. Now, as I give feedback to this student, I want to really focus on how to sound natural. Yes, I will help you with some expressions and how to use those expressions a little more effectively. But on top of all that, I want to really make you sound smooth. In a sense, I really want to help you sound like you're actually talking with somebody. Of course, in this test, you are talking to Ava. She is not a real person. So it is a little bit awkward talking by yourself and kind of to yourself. But I'm gonna try my best to find that balance that even though I am kind of talking to myself I still want to help you sound like you're talking to someone and with that skill of course you could be going out there and talking to anyone in English I do not want you to sound scripted at all and so that is why in a way this test is a little bit difficult 가끔씩 학생들이 저한테 이렇게 물어봐요 선생님 어느 수준이면은 AR을 받을 수는 있을까요 it is a little bit difficult to answer that question but if I must give you an answer basically you have to be able to take 
take this test with absolutely no preparation and still get at least IM2. 그러니까 아무 준비 상태 없이 바로 이 시험을 보고 그 다음에 IM2까지는 받을 수 있으면은 그런 자신이 있고 그런 상태이면은 그러면은 분명히 AR potential은 있습니다. Remember, AL is actually not the highest mark. 이거는 OPIC이잖아요. 근데 만약에 OPI 테스트를 보면은 진짜 누구하고 전화해가지고 어떤 그레이더하고 대화를 합니다. 거기는 이제 AR을 받을 수 있고 AM, AH, S까지 받을 수 있어요. Superior. 아무튼 what I really like about the OPIC test is that it's very difficult to fake AL. And so if you truly do get AL, you should have some ability to speak with a foreigner without a lot of problems. It should be fairly easy for you to at least communicate with them. Yes, your English may still not be perfect, but whatever you have in your mind, you should be able to convey that message to your listener. I have never met an AL student who cannot communicate with me in English and English only. And so if you truly want to fake this test, if you are, let's say, lower than I am too, and you still want AL, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is not the test for you. But no matter what, whatever level you are, I want to help you get the highest mark possible. Let's get it, let go! 자, 이제 AR을 받으려면은 되게 natural하게 들려야 되잖아요. 그러니까 이런 질문들을 대답을 할 때, 진짜 누구하고 대화를 하는 걸로 생각을 해야 돼요. So here, I want you to pretend that someone is asking you this question, like right in front of you. And then now you're just responding to that person. 그러니까 여기 보면은, well, okay, let me see. Electronic gadgets, huh? 되게 좋았어요. Let me see. 그 생각하는 자체를 보여주는 거고, 그리고 electronic gadgets는 그 단어를 쓰는 거잖아요. 근데 여기서 좀더 natural하게 하려면은, 그런 filler 같은 거, 내가 그냥 자연스럽게 말할 수 있는 단어들, 중간에 이렇게 넣는 거예요. 그러니까 예를 들어서, let me see. Electronic gadgets. 이런 식으로 하면은 약간 누구하고 대화하는 것보다는 그냥 어떤 질문에 대답하는 느낌이잖아요. 사실 그렇지만 좀더 대화한 모습을 보여주려면은 이런 식으로 하면 더 좋습니다. Well, let me see. Uh, electronic gadgets? All right. 딱 이런 식으로. Let me see 보다는 well을 넣잖아요. Well, let me see. 그리고 let me see를 할때 약간 올라갔잖아요. Let me see. Versus let me see. 대화하는 느낌 할때 약간 intonation이 올라갑니다. 그리고 그 질문 있는 단어들을 쓸 때도 electronic gadgets, huh? All right. 중간 중간에 그런 natural 단어들을 더 썼잖아요. 진짜 그런 식으로 연습해 보세요. 여기 다음 부분은 grammar 좀 고쳐 볼게요. Well, actually, I think people use their own smartphones to listen to music these days. The music 아니고 그리고 in these days도 아닙니다. 많이 학생들은 이제 these days를 쓸때 in these days 하거든요. But that is a little bit awkward. So just say these days. 근데 여기가 제일 좋았던 건이 단어입니다. Actually. 많은 학생들은 actually로 시작하고 그 다음에 그 센텐스를 계속 말하거든요. 근데 처음부터 actually 말고 이 단어를 중간에 어디 넣으세요. 이 학생은 well로 시작했잖아요. Well, actually, I think people use their own smartphones. Blah, blah, blah. 이렇게 하면 훨씬 더 natural합니다. 그리고 그 expression도 있잖아요. When it comes to. 이거도 처음부터 시작하지 말고 중간에 어디 넣어보세요. 그러면 훨씬 더 natural하게 들릴 겁니다. 예를 들어서 When it comes to music, I think people prefer using their smartphones. 이거보다는 I think people prefer using their smartphones when it comes to listening to music. 똑같은 expression을 썼는데 When it comes to. 근데 첫 번째 스타일은 완전 똥같이 들렸고 두 번째 스타일은 완전 원어민같이 들렸어요. The first one sounds like a script. Many students talk in this manner. But the second part sounds so smooth. 이런 expressions들을 배울 때는 특히 이두 개. Actually and when it comes to. 중간에 넣어보세요. Then your flow will be so nice. 이런 거 배울 때마다 그냥 먼저 쓰고 계속하면은 script 느낌입니다. And you know, it's just because of the convenience. 여기 filler combination 너무 잘 사용했고 그리고 이 AL just 단어도 너무 잘 했고 그리고 이 감정에 대해서 너무 잘 표현을 했어요. Convenience. And then he keeps going. I mean, it's really, really easy to use their own smartphones to listen to music. 여기 이제 더를 빼는 거 아시죠? 여기 약간 어색한 grammar 부분이 있어요. It's really easy to use their own smartphones 보다는 왜냐면은 이런 식으로 하려면은 이렇게 해야 돼요. It's really easy for them to use their own smartphones. 근데 그런 식으로 보다는 이런 식으로 It's really, really easy for us to use our own smartphones to listen to music. 그리고 여기 좀더 smooth하게 얘기하고 싶으면은 It's really, really easy for us to use our own smartphones. Our 보다는 our 하면은 좀더 smooth하게 sound 되고 더 빨리 말할 수 있어요. 아무튼 us를 쓰면은 우리 느낌이니까 
사람들하고 나도 너무 좋다 이런 식이니까 되게 스무드합니다 They like to use their smartphones 하면은 뭐 그런 사람들은 좋아하는데 뭐 나는 다를 수도 있다는 느낌이니까 약간 어색합니다 그리고 여기 보세요 Really, really 이 really를 두번 썼습니다 He's emphasizing how much we truly love to use our smartphones 그러니까 너무 부드러웠어요 근데 우리 이렇게 repeat를 하면은 두 번째가 약간 좀더 길고 좀더 크게 말하면은 더 좋습니다 예를 들어서 It's really really easy for us 보다는 It's really really easy for us 이런 식으로 아무튼 여기까지 메인 포인트가 너무너무 좋았어요 I know exactly what he's talking about He's talking about smartphones to listen to music And why do we do this? It is just so convenient And because it's easy and convenient Well of course that's a good thing 처음부터 여기까지 깔끔했고 And it was just so simple If I were to repeat this answer I remember exactly what he said There was nothing complicated about his answer And it was just very easy to follow Over here he's trying to give some more examples For instance If you really want to listen to trendy hip hop or pop songs You can use your own smartphone No S um, Without any other different devices 근데 여기 grammar을 좀더 정확하게 하려면은 You can use your own smartphone without the need of other devices 아니면 그냥 따로따로 해보세요 So for example You can use your own smartphone Period 그 다음에 a new sentence You don't need anything else 자 아무튼 여기 IH 학생이 여기서 IH 모습이 보였어요 그거는 self-correction 특히 IH 학생들이 많이 이거를 신경 쓰더라고요 Oh my gosh I made a mistake I have to fix it This grammar no it's not good I must fix the grammar But remember that is not your goal Your goal is not to fix your grammar Your goal is to make your message clear If you try to fix your grammar too much All of a sudden your message can become unclear And you do not want to do that 여기 보세요 이 학생은 이렇게 했어요 um, Without any other devices 그 다음에 아나 이거 고쳐야 된다 You don't need to bring any other devices 만약에 그 틀린 모습을 고치고 싶으면 은 자연스럽게 고쳐야 돼요 그 방법은 필러를 넣고 그 다음에 다시 리셋을 해보세요 Basically you're just trying again Using a filler So something like this um, Without any other devices I mean you really don't need any other devices 이 필러 때문에 조금 더 부드럽게 느꼈어요 여기서 더 부드럽게 하려면 은 이런 식으로 해보세요 um, Without any other devices I mean what I'm trying to say is that You really don't need any other devices 아니면 또 이런 식으로 um, Without any other devices I mean what am I trying to say Anyway, you really don't need any other devices. 여기는 진짜 다시 restart 할수 있으니까 What am I trying to say? 너무너무 꿀이에요. And now this student is giving more examples. He's very good at that. And um, also, you can use applications like Melon or YouTube. And again, he uses and um, a very nice filler combination. 이거는 진짜 AL filler입니다. 그냥 and 아니면 그냥 um 보다는 어쩔 때는 이런 식으로 and um 딱 그렇게 하면은 되게 naturally 들리고 Honestly, it's just so simple. Simple, but it really makes you sound so natural. And um, also, you can use applications like Melon or YouTube. Perfect. And here, another great sentence. Uh, by using these applications, 바로 그 applications에 대해서 얘기했으니까, you can easily find any information about the song or the song itself. 그거 들으면서 이런 인포도 더 찾을 수 있다. 더 설명하잖아요. 너무 좋아요. And now he's a little bit stuck here. So, uh, 그 다음에 아무 말이 안 나오니까, 우리 아까 얘기했던 거 What am I trying to say? 하고 나서 그 다음에 또 anyway 또 썼잖아요 근데 여기 What am I trying to say? 하고 anyway 하고 너무 빨리 말했어요 이 퍼싱이 필요합니다 What am I trying to say? Anyway 그 다음에 바로 가세요 너무 붙이면 은 약간 어색한 느낌이 납니다 Bottom line is Very nice word here 약간 conclusion 느낌이에요 uh, These days people usually use their own smartphones to listen to music 이 학생은 여기 conclusion에 main point 하고 엄청 똑같이 했어요 근데 여기서 약간 바꿔봅시다 This is why people love using their smartphones for music 되게 비슷한 말이지만 일단은 나의 대답을 다 설명하고 있었으니까 그 다음에 conclusion 갈 때는 이러니까 우리가 이렇게 한다 좀더 flow가 좋잖아요 근데 이 학생은 These days people usually use their own smartphones 약간 똑같이 메인 포인트하고 너무 비슷하니까 그 설명 자체 약간 없는 느낌입니다 자 이제 여러분들한테 질문을 던져볼게요
어떡해요? What can this student do to guarantee AL? 일단 한 가지를 말했어요. 너무 잘했어요. I am serious here. Rule number five을 설명했죠. 그리고 되게 자연스럽게 filler combinations도 많이 썼어요. 여기 대충 보면은 and you know and um so uh 이런 식으로 그리고 다른 것도 잘한 거 있어요. He used some natural expressions and he didn't use very difficult words. 그러나 if this student was a little more feeling focused, then this could have been a much better answer. Honestly, to tell you the truth, this student did relatively well. And in many cases, this answer will get him AL. There weren't many parts where it would get him a low grade. But of course, if you truly want to guarantee that AL by improving this answer, the one thing I do want to say is that it needs to be more feeling focused. I need to believe what you're actually saying. And the reason why he couldn't be more feeling focused was that he kept it people-based. 이 질문은 I hate you said question number 15입니다. 그러니까 당연히 people-based or society 같은 질문이잖아요. combo set하고 약간 다른 느낌인데 그래도 이런 number 15 질문들을 대답을 할때 people 대해서 얘기는 하지만 근데 진짜 one or two sentence만 필요해요. The rest of the answer you should really try to answer you-based. 나에 대해서 나의 경험 나의 감정을 얘기하면 은 훨씬 더그 feeling을 보여줄 수 있습니다. 그리고 나에 대해서 그 느낌을 설명하면은 the listener will be able to believe what you are actually trying to say. So here is an example based on this student's answer. 일단은 여기 필러 같은 거를 다 뺐어요. I think we always end up using our smartphones to listen to music. End up 결국에는 아무튼 여기는 we를 썼잖아요. So I'm indicating people and myself all at the same time here. It's pretty much the only way to go as it's just so convenient. The only way to go. 진짜 이 스마트폰을 쓸 수밖에 없다. 너무 편리해가지고. 자 여기에서는 people에 대해서 아직 얘기하고 있잖아요. 그 다음에 약간 컨트롤을 하는 거예요. 이제 나에 대해서만 얘기할 거다. 여기 단어로. For me, 벌써 바뀌었어요. 이제 나에 대해서만 얘기할 거다. My experience, how I feel about it. For me, I love how my smartphone makes it so easy for me to listen to music and find the lyrics of that song all at the same time. All at the same time. 한꺼번에 그리고 여기는 약간 picky 하지만 it's often good not to repeat the same words in the same sentence 자, 예를 들어서 for me를 두번 썼죠 whenever an IH student tries to make their sentences longer I notice that they often repeat certain words in the same sentence and I don't want you to do that you could keep your sentences relatively short and easy to understand that is much better than repeating the same words over and over again in the same sentence if anything repeat the words in a different sentence that is a lot more effective. Amateur, please, please do not forget, especially if you want AL, remember that you are trying to show your conversation skill, not only your English skill. So you're trying to show that conversation that you're actually talking to someone and make sure that whatever you say, that you show how you feel about that. Do not just list facts. And so if you're answering one of the I hate you said question and they ask about people, try not to only talk about about people because that's gonna be a lot harder for you but instead talk about people just once or twice and then go right to how you feel about that that's gonna be a lot easier and it's gonna be very feeling focused 여러분 우리 자연스럽게 말하기 위해서 제발 자연스럽게 스크립트를 버립시다 boom